Hello and welcome back to Daddy, Dad and Me. Um, as you'll have gathered from our last video, Little Man has been with us uh, now for just over six weeks. Uh, it's been quite a six weeks. Um, you'll probably tell from my sweaty complexion <laughs> um, that the UK currently has a heat wave. Um, I've had enough of it, quite looking forward to autumn and winter. Um, Today is one of the cooler days, but we've been up to about 34, 35. Um, I like the heat, but I've had enough of it. Um, so it can go away now, thanks. I wanted this video today to focus on a part, um, and it was a day that we weren't really sure of, if I'm honest. Um, we didn't know what it involved. There's very little information out there about it. Um, it's the Life Appreciation Day. Some will call it Child Appreciation Day. There's other um, different local authorities will call it different names. It sounds very grand um, and it is actually quite a lovely meeting to have. Um, so I just wanted to use our space here um, and our platform to explain more about that so people can find something about it because when we heard about it and were invited to the meeting, we were like, what's a life appreciation day? Um, and it is kind of what it says on the tin, um, but read on and um, we'll go into more about our experience of it, what it meant um, and what you'll walk away with from that meeting. So carry on, get a cold drink and uh, see you there. So for our experience of life appreciation day, in a nutshell, it is a meeting, doesn't necessarily have to be a day, um, ours was, I think it about two, two and a half hours, and it was a day where all the professionals involved with the child come along to the meeting, the adopters or prospective adopters will go along, um, we had rather funnily, it was a room that I would probably say would comfortably fit about five people around a table, we had 16 um, people at one point so as you can imagine there were people around the sides people standing people sitting um, so that made it quite funny just to start off with first of all and obviously it got hotter and hotter in there um, and yeah so it's everyone is there to talk about the child um, in our experience the first part of the meetings rather hard to listen and comprehend because you hear um, firsthand what's happened um, and that's quite a struggle I found that quite a struggle to listen to but as you carry on through the meeting and the other professionals that the child has perhaps um, dealt with for instance you start slowly start seeing the changes that have been made and the positive reaction that these everybody has had from foster carers to um, in our case sorry case it was a sleep therapist and then you've got health visitors you've got social workers so just to explain who was there it was myself and James um, our social worker little man social worker foster carers and their social worker um, then we had health visitors in there we had someone from the nursery there we had the sleep therapist um, social workers or managers thereof, some of the uh, supporting social workers, and you really do hear what's and all exactly from the day that the child has, has come into care to, of the local authority right through to the present day. We felt very lucky because by that point we had had, I think about two or three bumpings with him. So we had a good understanding by that point we'd seen and spoken to the foster carers so they were able to give us a very good snapshot of one daily life but also how he was when he first went to them and then that time um, and the changes that have been made since then so yeah it's really a day that it's very positive I say it's it's very hard to listen to first off because it is you're hearing um, rather emotional and difficult, um, I suppose, experiences of, of how and why things have happened. Um, and we found our meeting very emotional from that point and going through, but it really gave us a clear understanding of him, 
everybody involved. Everybody involved had said to how much they'd seen the change and the changes in him and the positives that have come from that. And it was a, a meeting that was so worthwhile. Um, and I hope that all local authorities offer it to adopters or prospective adopters. Don't be nervous about going along to it. It's your opportunity to ask lots and lots of questions, which we did. And as for us, we also used it as an opportunity to thank everybody because we underestimate, and I think a lot of people underestimate, the tiresome um, and exhausting work that goes on in order to make not just that meeting happen, but other meetings and all of that work to, to bring everybody together. Um, and I say for us, there was quite a lot of people in that meeting, so we really saw, wow, there's a lot of people. Some people kind of have a, a view or perception of adoption that it's kind of a few meetings here and there, that's it, off you go kind of thing. It's not. There's a lot of meetings to be had that are relevant, that are needed. Um, and yes, if you are invited along to the Life Appreciation Day, go along. Um, have open eyes, it is difficult to hear firsthand what's happened, but by that point you should have already have had the profile, you should know quite a bit about them by that point. We definitely saw it as a positive, we all had tears in our eyes, um, like most people in the room, and I think that showed how much Little Man meant to everybody, and just the positives that have come from everything that has happened. Um, and yeah, so on a sideline, just to give you a, a little update, um, Little Man has now been with us for six weeks. Um, as you noticed from the previous video, I think we're about a week or two in post placement day. Um, there's been a mixture of good and bad days, but that's just like any, any toddler, they're there to test you as we are finding. Um, we've recently had some play dates and they have gone very well. Um, and yeah, we're, we're looking forward to it kind of expanding that. We're going at his pace, um, but yeah, just using the opportunity of the good weather because he loves the outdoors and um, yeah, just enjoying what it brings. Um, hoping it cools off soon, um, but luckily little man seems to be sleeping through it all, despite being say 30, 34 degrees um, for a little while now. So uh, yeah, things are good and um, yeah, we're gonna we're looking forward. We've got a few days planned out. We're using most of our national trust membership because um, there's lots of places for us to visit, and most of them cater for young children as well. And everybody is always happy to see him. Um, and yeah, we'll hopefully try and visit a beach. Um, and yeah, just other days out. Um, we recently went to one where there were lots of animals, and he absolutely loved it. And for us, it was just lovely, lovely to see. As, and to go as a family as well, which was something we've been waiting a long time for. So, yes, that is the video today in a nutshell. I will try and um, pop back as often as I can, but um, I'm only using this opportunity today because James has gone out with Little Man for a little dog walk. So it's a bit of me time and I'm just about to start writing a blog for the website. And yeah, I took this opportunity to go, uh -huh, blog, uh, vlog time, sorry. Um, so yeah, hope everyone's doing well. Lovely to see so many um, prospective adopters, um, definitely on Instagram over on our page there, at Daddy Dad and Me, um, and also looking um, and viewing our videos as well, because that's why we put the videos out there, just to reach other adopters and prospective adopters, because we never felt um, that there was sufficient amount of it. There's a lot of US adoption, but that's very different to UK adoption. So uh, yeah, please feel free to uh, visit our Facebook page, Instagram and Twitter. Um, give the page a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel and we'll try and update as much as we can. Um, and yeah, if anyone's got any questions, contact via any of the social channels or email us at daddydadandme at gmail.com. So see you soon, take care. Um, can't believe, quite believe we're coming up to mid-August already, but um, there's lots of good things happening come September. So uh, I hope to be back, I probably wouldn't say next week, but in a few weeks time um, to start talking more about different topics. So yeah, any questions at all, get in touch and I'll see you soon. Bye.